The first thing you're going to do is open up Scratch. If you do not have it on your desktop, you're going to go to Start, Search, click on the third arrow down, All Files and Folders, then type in Scratch, S-C-R-A-T-C-H. Then when a cat comes up, you can stop it. Double click on the cat, and now you have Scratch open. What we're going to be doing is working with the pen tool today. The pen tool is on the uh, left hand side of the categories. At the bottom, it will have a green on it. And uh, so we have not worked with a pen before. We're going to make our object or our sprite uh, do some drawing for us. The first thing you're going to do is get rid of the cat. So click on the cat, click on, uh, or click on the scissors, then click on the cat. Then you're going to go to the center button right here. Go to Things. Go down four rows. One, two, three, four. And you'll see a pencil. Choose the pencil, then click on OK. Now, if you uh, see here, we have some script here. When green flag is clicked, set pen to size 5 forever. The things inside forever are going to go on until you tell it to stop. If the mouse is down, the, it, go to the mouse pointer and the pen will be down. Otherwise, the pen will be up. So if I click on the green flag, you can see a pencil appears over here. I'm going to click close to the pencil and then just drag. You can keep going and draw anything you want. When you're done drawing, whatever you're going to draw, uh, you can just get rid of this script because we won't need it anymore. So click on that and just throw it over here to the side and the script goes away. Then we're going to go to uh, get some new script so we can have, instead of us drawing, the computer is going to draw for us. To get rid of the blue uh, scribble that we've already put on here, we're going to go to the pen and get clear. Clear is at the top of the pen. The pen is over here on the left-hand side, and it's the last one on the left-hand side. You grab clear and pull it over. If you click on clear twice, then the, draw, the stuff will go away. Then we're going to start with a new script. We're going to need control. When green flag is clicked, then we're going to need um, can't remember just a second. Repeat 10. We're going to change repeat 10 to 24. Then we're going to go to the pen, get the pen category, pen down. Then we're going to go to the motion category. Motion is at the top of that list on the left-hand side, Motion. We're going to get Move 10, and that connects to Pen Down. Right under Move 10 steps is Turn 15 Degrees. There's two of them. You want the top one. Connect that to Move 10. Uh, 10. So pen, 10, pen Down, Move 10 steps, and Turn 15 Degrees is all one uh, clump. Then you move uh, that clump into repeat 24, add repeat 24 to when green flag is clicked. So as soon as you click on the green flag, it's going to repeat 24 times, pen down, move, turn, pen down, move, turn, 25 times, 4 times. I'm going to click on the green flag and you can see what it's going to do. Click on the green flag again. And it's going to make a circle. If you move your uh, pencil, make another circle. Move your pencil, make another circle. Just stop the video and you can experiment with that. And when you're ready to start it again, just start it again. Okay, you've experimented and now we're going to clear it off. Clear. And we're going to make this look a little more uh, fancy. We're going to have it make more than just one circle. In order to do that, you're going to need to do uh, another control. 
get repeat 10. Go to motion and we want change x by 10. This is change x by 10 right here. That goes inside of repeat. And change y by 10, that's right here. That goes inside of repeat. We're going to change the 10 in repeat to 6. And this is the tricky part. Repeat 10 needs to go, on, or repeat 24 needs to go under the change y. It has to be very sure that this repeat 24 is under change y. Then you put them all together. Then you click on your, and move your pencil down here in this corner. And click on your green flag. And now it should make six circles because we said to repeat six times. Okay. And it says change by 10. That means that it's going to make one circle here and one circle here, then one. You see how it's going up into the side every time. So it's moving the pencil over 10 and uh, up 10. The pencil right here, if you look down here, has a special place to be. If wherever the mouse is, the XYs move. If there's a grid under there that on this screen, every little dot has a number an X and a Y number that shows what that is. I'm going to clear this off again and I'm going to put this back down. Watch the X, Y over here as we move. I think it's going to move. No, I guess it won't because it's only the mouse that it shows. So forget that idea. I'm going to stop it and clear it. But if I move this mouse up and to the right, you can see it starts with negative numbers. Then I'm going up and to the right, looking down at the x, y numbers again. I got into y positive numbers. Now I'm into x positive numbers and y. And if I go down here, it will be y negative and x positive numbers. So that little area right here tells you where your mouse is on your screen. Now we're going to uh, put the mouse down here, or the pencil down here again, and we're going to make it even more interesting by going to the pen, and we're going to do change pen color by 10. So each time it goes around, six times, it's going to change the color by 10. Let's look. Click on the green flag, and it turns to purple, then pink, then dark pink, then red. If I keep going, I click on the green flag again. Red, orange, yellow, green. So if you, the more times you click on it, the more colors you're going to have. Now, once you've done that a few times, you can move your mouse around and do it again, or your pencil around and do it again. You can add things over here. You could say, say change pen size maybe, or change pen shade. Experiment with some of these other things that you could do. I don't know what stamp does. You could experiment with stamp. So uh, you're free to experiment at this point in your lesson. Have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this lesson.